Toyota Motor Philippines has made history and motorsports will never be the same again. It started with an ambitious plan to organize a world-class grassroots racing series that could revive a golden era in Philippine motorsports history. Many said it could never be done. Racing is dead. It's an elitist sport. Toyota refused to listen. And it produced the biggest grid in Philippine motorsport history. The Toyota Vios Cup 2014. If anyone could bring back racing, it had to be the number one car company in the country. And they did it in style. From the race cars to the hospitality to the entertainment, it was a wacko doki experience like no other. The inaugural Toyota Vios Cup didn't just give us a performance we will never forget. They came back for an encore in a dramatic street race that nobody could have written a script for. The first official leg kicked off on May 24 in Clark International Speedway. With old rivalries from the Corolla Cup of the 90s still simmering between dealers, there was more at stake than just the 75,000 cash prize per race. There were scores to settle. As a grassroots series, dealers scouted for the best unlicensed drivers they could find, some who were not even old enough to drive on the road, but could tear up a track, while privateers, celebrities, members of the press, car enthusiasts, professional racers, even political figures filled up one of the most diverse grids in motorsports. There wasn't a dull moment from start to finish. Isa, the five lights are up! There's a, there's a false start from Iñaki Arneta. Luis Gomez closing the line on his teammate. This one I'm talking about, Masi Escalante. He's now closing the gap. There is an opportunity and Luis Gomez. Jason Choa Chua soaked up the pressure from his younger teammate to snatch the first win of the season, with Luis Gono settling for second. But a stunning drive from the middle of the pack saw Alan Uy in a very impressive third. Pamela Baranda continued her winning streak, beating Gino Rufino and Fabio Ida to the flag in the Celebrity Cup as we headed into race two. Handed a 10-place penalty grid for avoidable contact with his teammate, Luis Gono impressed the field with a stunning climb into third, while Alan Uy held the lead only to be passed into turn one by Jason Choa Chui, who was later penalized for doing so under the yellow flags, which handed the win back to Alan. Fem once again showed the boys the way around the track with a back-to-back -back win against Fabio Ida in second and Gina Rufino in third as we headed into a two-month break. So, the championship looked like this. With tensions building up in the break, the Vios Cup headed back to Clark International Speedway on July 26 for what would turn out to be another dramatic weekend. Jason Choa Choi swept both races, pulling an even bigger gap in the championship, but heavy rains in the afternoon provided a highlight reel race from start to finish and took a huge chunk out of Alan Uy's championship hopes. It was also the first time we saw Luis Gono off the podium as Iñaki Araneta clinched his first trophy after a gutsy pass down the inside. But the two-month break did wonders for Sam YG who came from nowhere to dominate both races in the Celebrity Cup with Fabio Ida and G. 
Valentino Rufino trading places again and coming within one point of each other in the championship standings as we headed into a yet-to-be-announced bonus round in McKinley Hill where double points would be awarded. Three cars competing around a purpose-built 1.8-kilometer street circuit with double points on offer and around a million pesos worth of cash and prizes going to one of five possible champions, it was a mathematical equation for pure action and excitement. An estimated 15,000 people poured through the gates to witness history. And they got more than they came for. They got an absolute blockbuster with a cliffhanger ending. It all started in qualifying when Choa Chui, the hot favorite with a 27-point advantage, collided with Alan Ui, who was second in the championship. In less than 200 meters, both championship hopes went as flat as their tires as they both failed to make it into the main grid and would have no possibility to score points in both races. This opened up the championship to two more hopefuls, Dominic Ochoa and Paul Andumlao. Race 1 saw Ochoa cross the line in first, then handed a penalty that demoted him into second. Luis Gono took third. Ochoa needed the win and the third place from Gono, but it all ended in the wall of turn 1 on lap 1 of the second race. Oh, we have a, we have a car sideways! Is that Ochoa? Is that Ochoa? We have Dumlao, we have Gono! Oh, we have, oh, we've got... We've got a major red flag happening here! With Ochoa out, Gono just needed to finish in 6 or higher to clinch the championship. It seemed highly likely as his lowest finishing position all season has been 4th. It was all but a formality until a huge crash involving Andres Calma, Carlos Loinas and Iñaki Araneta forced the race officials to red flag the race before even 50% of the laps had been completed, which saw the championship announcement held off until tonight.